allulose, the holy grail of sweeteners. If you're anything like me and found out that when you avoided sugar and a lot of carbohydrates, you looked better and you felt better, but you still miss that sweetness every now and again, then this is probably a good video for you. I like to call allulose the holy grail of sweetener because it still lets me optimize for the health benefits of not having sugar, but I get to enjoy that sweet flavor every now and again. So I'm gonna share with you the five things that I love about allulose. So the first one is that it tastes almost identical to table sugar. It's 70% as sweet, so if you want it to be as sweet, then just add a little bit more than you normally would. It also dissolves and freezes and bakes exactly like normal sugar. It can come out a little bit browner. So how does it do that? It's almost identical in its structure to fructose. So our body tastes it like it's sugar, but because there's one hydroxyl group that's slightly at a different placing, it makes the structure a little bit different, so the body can't really utilize it the same way that it would normal fructose. The second thing that I love about it is that it does not raise your insulin, almost at all. Lots of people have done their own studies and lots of research has come to show this. So that is able to keep your blood sugar more stabilized and less inflammation. One of the most amazing things about allulose is not just that it keeps your insulin from spiking, but it also removes glucose out through your urine. There's research, for example, that shows that people that eat carbohydrate laden meal, so that would normally spike your insulin and spike your blood sugar, that postprandial blood sugar is actually lower when you take allulose with that meal. So sometimes I will just sprinkle some allulose on top of something to help keep my blood sugar from spiking as much, which is crazy. A little bit more sweetness and a little less blood sugar. Number three is that it has been shown to be anti-inflammatory, either improve or slow down the progression of obesity and diabetes and heart disease. And from the FDA's announcement, they say the latest data suggests that allulose is different from other sugars in that it is not metabolized by the human body in the same way as table sugar. It has fewer calories, produces only negligible increases in blood glucose or insulin levels, and does not promote dental decay. Now the fifth thing that I love about it, especially in comparison to other artificial sweeteners or sweeteners that people use when they're trying to not eat sugar or eat lower carbohydrate, is that it doesn't cause any digestive issues unless you take a lot of it. Other artificial sweeteners and other sugar substitutes commonly will cause a lot of digestive discomfort like bloating and diarrhea, and allulose does not show those same reactions. It's not as fermentable by the microbiome, and so it doesn't cause some of the other downsides that other sugar replacements commonly do. When it comes to the three things that I try to optimize for, if you want to optimize for your brain health, you obviously want to keep your blood sugar really stable so that you're not going, doing those ups and downs of energy. You also want to reduce inflammation as much as possible. And you also wanna make sure that your second brain is in a good state because it's so, which is your digestive system, is in a good state so that that connection between the brain and the gut is working well and both are calm and so forth. So when it comes to hotness, it doesn't raise your insulin, which is really great. It keeps your insulin lower, which helps you be in fat burning mode more often instead of fat storage mode. And then for my immune system health and keeping my eczema flares down, it helps because it helps keep most of your immune system, which is in your gut, nice and calm. And it keeps your gut from getting as much damage and letting as much through it. And that's very helpful, especially because the cause of my eczema is just getting too much nickel into my system and my immune system freaking out about it. So if my digestive tract is nice and healthy, it's not going to allow as much of that nickel through. So here are eight example recipes that I use allulose for quite often. The first one is really fun. It's a caramel sauce on pork. So I just use the allulose instead of sugar and make a yummy caramel sauce. You can also add it to those creamy salads that call for a little bit of sweetener. I put some in my melon slushy, in my berry shake. I also use this same berry shake recipe and just make some push pops. And I also put it in this fruit salad or a little bit in my coffee or on top of my yogurt and berries, which is a common dessert for me. Also just creating a simple syrup that I can use in cocktails like margaritas. 
So how is it made? Most of the manufacturers of allulose get it from corn. They take the fructose out of the corn, they apply some enzymes to basically go through a process to change that location of the hydroxyl group to then make it allulose. And that's how they make large amounts of allulose because in nature, allulose comes in very, very small quantities. So trying to get it naturally from things just isn't really, the ROI, it really isn't there. So where can you get allulose? I'm starting to see allulose on the shelves in places like Whole Foods, but honestly, I just go to Amazon and I get it from there. And I'm gonna put some links below to the four cheapest per ounce allulose that I found. The first one listed is the one that I always get and I love it. It looks kind of sketchy because it's just in a black bag with barely any writing on it, but that just shows you how it's still something that's being accepted and being added to things. Quest Nutrition, I think was the first big company to start using it in its products. So just remember that all of the research supporting all of the claims that I made about allulose are in the description below. So check those out, make the decision for yourself. But I would just recommend grabbing a bag and giving it a shot in some of your recipes that you would normally use other sweeteners for. And I think that you will be pleasantly surprised. All right, take care and let me know how it goes in the comments.